Well, hello and welcome. I hope you're having a lovely festive season or a mad dash to the end of the year. It's another fabrical. Yay! It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect jacket. Last one of these fabric calls you saw was at the end of the month. Well, that was the cottons, the dressmaking fabrics. I think there was a metallic tweed one that you've seen since then. But yeah, we've got some gorgeous greens and oh, I have some beads too. It was a bag of heart beads, but then of course, me being me, I've divided them all up into colours and each of them, uh, like the orange, going to live with the oranges and and the greens are going in the green box, things like that. So yeah, they're really sweet and I just thought... I don't really use hearts very much, but they're enough of a just an abstract shape that I think they'll go. Oh, and the pink and reds, they're going in the jacket that's just going to be pink and red beads. It's going to be fabulous. Anyway, so yeah, divided them all up and they're all going to be in separate ones. And the jacket of the day that I have on the bench is, gosh, this one is so old. It's got to be 12, 15 years old. It's a Linton tweed from the UK. And um, this style of tweed where there's not, it's not evenly spaced, there's sort of gaps, is called a Leno tweed. And yeah, it's coral, beige and white and a couple of other colours in there. And then the beaded trim is one that I made and it's got toy soldiers and um, I went to the hardware store as well. So there's painted screws and all these tiny little Japanese glass frosted beads. And I use loads of invisible thread on that. So fishing wire, oh my gosh, it not so easy and it's so frustrating to use but anyway let's get down to the fabric oh we have so many lovely brightly colored ones and i love the greens but let's get through the boring ones first so this one i bought because it reminds me of you know at the start of sound of music when she's late for the church service once too often they sort of make her go take a babysitting job uh, with captain von trapp and she wears that brown skirt and the brown outfit I want to make a, well, I'm going to make a brown dress because I wear dresses much more than skirts. I'm going to make a brown dress out of this and there's a um, border pattern, jacket pattern that I'm going to make a brown jacket out of. And I just love that outfit. She's so cheerful about how she has confidence in herself. I love it and I want an outfit like that. So it's brushed cotton, but it's more like a linen than a flannel if you um, know your sort of natural fibres. And yeah, I just love it. It's like, I wasn't sure about the pattern, but I don't know. It kind of seems autumnal to me. And I don't know, that's hanging in the trees. You know how they have that scene where they're all hanging in the trees. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. I'm going to make a simple dress out of this and then a plain brown jacket to match. So yeah, I ended up putting all the little hearts, separating them and putting them into their little baggies so that they could go in the different bead boxes. So, oh yeah, if you don't know, I've got a rather large bead collection and I put them in a different sort of large shoe box for each colour or well, a slightly larger than a shoebox. Anyway, the next one is another trouser weight cotton and it is beautiful. It's just these vintage roses. Again, this is one of those ones that I bought because it reminds me of vintage wallpaper. I'm not sure how practical that is, but I do think it's beautiful. And I bought enough to make a simple dress or a, a long skirt. This is a denim, believe it or not. It's amazing. And I bought enough to, well, I suppose I could make a coat out of it. Do have a lot of vintage um, coat patterns and it's, it's, um, denim is either up to 70 inches wide. So it's wider than fashion width. So I'll even make a set of a short jacket, cropped jacket and a plain dress or I might make a vintage coat out of it. It is a little short for some of the patterns, but because it's so wide, I think I will be able to get all the pieces out. Usually they make you buy an excessive like six yards of fabric, but that's because you need all the to cut all these long pieces. And I think I'll be able to do that just because this denim is so completely wide. So that's what I'm thinking for that one. And I love the ready coral colour of the flowers. Um, 
so if I did make a vintage jacket, I could bead around the neckline with um, beads that I have. Anyway, the next fabric, I thought when I bought this that it was a cotton, but it's actually a poly cotton. So I bought enough to make a puffy sleeve shirt, but I think I'll just end up using it to make mock-ups of jackets because I want to sort of make a mock-up of every jacket pattern I have, mostly to stop me buying far too many <laughs> sewing patterns. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Next up, oh, we're up to my favourite one. It's the Kandinsky. It's not really. It's just a furnishings fabric and it's a synthetic velvet fabric. Mm, doesn't that sound classy? But when I saw the colours, it just reminded me so much of um, Kandinsky paintings. If you haven't seen any of them, I just went to Pinterest and I'll show you some of them. So here we go. These are from Pinterest. And what I love about them is that absolutely saturated colors they're just so magnificent but also my favorite story about Kandinsky is he went out um to a cafe to you know hang with the philosophers one day and he came home and there was just this stunning amazing piece of work on his cat on his easel and he's like what is this it was just all these different shades of blue and it just was stunning and mesmerizing to him and it turns out it was just one of his paintings of clouds but it was sideways so he didn't know what it was and from that he decided because he used to paint just recognizable figurative things before that and then after that he decided to do abstract paintings and yeah I just I love the audacity of it going, yes, this is what I want to do. Just having this amazing, you know, light bulb or lightning flash moment and then, yeah, go running with it, having the bravery. Yeah, so many people are absolute cowards and I just love that story. Anyway, my five favourite Kandinsky's are in New York City and I have not been to New York since before the pandemic So, and I really miss it. So when I saw that fabric, I was like, that is coming home with me. I love it. I love it so much. So I might beat it, I guess, but I'll probably make it up into a jacket and then just hang it in my closet because it makes me happy. It makes me, if I could afford to fly to New York City and just go sit in the Museum of Modern Art. I absolutely would. And until I could afford to do that, I, yeah, bought one yard of fabric that I'm going to make up into a jacket. So, you know, baby steps. And the colours are just beautiful. I don't know what sort of beads I'll do. I think just a whole bunch of different clear beads would be amazing or I also have this um, fringe that I made for a different jacket but then I didn't use it so I'm thinking I'll put fringe on it and once that's done I'll sort of have the bead e beading echo that and sort of pull out those oranges maybe I don't know kind of just used up all my orange beads so <laughs> We will see. I've got loads of red beads. Maybe I'll use them. Anyway, back to the dressmaking fabrics. That was, yeah, that was my joy for this fabric hole. That was the one that has my heart. But this is amazing. Again, unfortunately, I thought it was a cotton, but it's a poly cotton. When they sent it to me, it was a poly cotton. It was um in the remainder, um you know, the clearance section. So you can't complain too much about getting the occasional dud from the clearance section. They're always such good value. Anyway, I still really love these roses. It's something very um, Milan Fashion Week about them. But yeah, so I bought enough to make a beautiful vintage dress. But I think, but there's absolutely no way in, no way at all I'm wearing a poly cotton dress. But I would wear a skirt as long as the inside of the waistband was cotton so what I think I'll do is cut off a thin strip to make the outside of the waistband and then the inside of the waistband I'll make pure cotton like white or pale pink and then just make the, it a nice full long skirt with a big band that would be nice and I'd actually wear that because it's not actually touching your skin and it's quite pretty and if I could even line it with cotton anyway. So next we have two cotton lawns and they're sort of vintage print. They're both green and one's sort of more 70s. And yeah, see, if I made the skirt out of that 
and shirts out of these ones, so two different shirts. This one is a little bit more garish, the one on the left, and then the other one that the rose fabric is lying on is a bit quieter. And yeah, I had my fluoro green Valentino handbag. It'd be so cute, such a cute outfit. So yeah, it's going to be a, either a vintage style shirt, like so open the top button never closes or maybe just a regular button up shirt. I'm not sure, but definitely a shirt because I don't know, it's kind of ugly this print, but I still it's green so of course I like it and it's unusual a little bit and this one I just love it's much more me it's a little bit quieter but it's still very interesting and vibrant I love it and I don't know I just thought the spots of yellow were a little they look like dappled sunlight to me a bit so yes definitely a shirt out of that one too i was tempted to buy twice as much fabric so that i could make a shirt dress out of this but i really never wear shirt dresses so i have to stamp down that impulse to make shirt dresses because i cannot remember the last time i wore one obviously if you have them you're going to wear them more but i still think i would like 100 percent wear this much more as a shirt than a shirt dress even if, yeah, I know that people wear their shirt dresses open as dusted jackets, but I just have so many jackets and I tend to wear a shirt as a jacket in like, if it's super hot. Anyway, we have one left. This is a rayon and I don't know, there's something very Gucci about this, the palm print and there's bamboo and pearls and it's, it's very bling. And yeah, I don't know, it just seems very Gucci to me or very Milan Fashion Week. So I'm going to make a dress out of this one and just a simple dress. And it's so floaty. I do have some white plain cotton that I can do, like I can make it a fully lined dress if it needs it. But I don't know, it kind of it's so drapey and it's going to be pleated. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I am very tempted to combine it with like, this is two yards, full fashion width those. And I'm very tempted to combine it with two yards of another fabric or, you know, four yards. So it's a six yard maxi dress. And yeah, I mean, the different greens look absolutely gorgeous together. So I might do that, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a dress. I don't like drapey, floaty tops. I love long maxi dresses that are floaty. But yeah, I just, I always get hooked on things if my shirt's too billowy. Oh yeah, that's right. I still got this, well, it's cotton, but I still got the other, do you remember when I made the pink and green patchwork dress and I made two bodices this is the second bodice so I could use the four yards of these two rayons to make the full skirt um to go with this maybe that would be cute we will see I like just plain green things but that would look cute we will see I could do a layer cake sort of slice it up and have the bamboo pale green then the vibrant green who knows anyway those are the fabrics for this fabric haul so there's a couple of shirts maybe some vintage a vintage coat that Kandinsky jacket I'm just I think I'll just drape that fabric over something because it just brings me so much joy and my little heart beads they're so cute too so yeah just little colorful blobs of joy really and those gorgeous greens ugh so much beautiful oh, and that brown one from the start of sound of music that one makes me happy too so yeah basically i bought things that make me smile nothing wrong with that i love her carpet bag too anyway thank you very much for watching i hope you've been inspired to rummage through the remnant section of your local fabric store thanks again for watching and happy sewing and season joy don't get too stressed